What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly save your SHSH2 blobs for iOS 10.3.1 because the Pangu jailbreak has been demoed for iOS 10.3.1 and it would be very bad if you don't save your blobs in, in order to be able to downgrade in future using various tools that might appear or using future restore or Prometheus method if it gets updated. Now, something that Teamstar has um, actually said is pretty much what driven me to actually make this video. And he says in here, to answer a, pop a popular question, yes, technically the tool works with iPhone 6 and above, and no, Apple has not patched this. And therefore there is still hope for a Prometheus restore, and therefore there is no limitation to only iPhone 5s, as some of you told me in the comment section, and I uh, actually said it's not. So here is the confirmation from Team Star today on, uh, on Future Restore's uh, issues page. Well, a lot of you have told me that the uh, TSS checker is actually down and you're not able to save your blobs in uh, the past days. Well, a lot of people make the confusion between TSS checker and TSS saver. TSS saver is a uh, website that actually save your, saves your blobs and it was created by one Canon and TSS checker is created by Teamstar and it's a standalone application for macOS, Linux or Windows if that's your thing. Anyways, you can save with both of them. Uh, there is also a method called the ticket box, and although the application works pretty well, I do not know whether it saves correctly the blobs or not, but it works pretty okay with, with saving itself. Uh, the application wasn't updated in a while, and links to the application were pulled for some reason. I wasn't able to download it anymore using the old links, so we're going to not talk about it today. But anyways, you can save them using this website. It was now fixed by uh, by uh, one Canon, and it's now working properly. And I'm going to show you how. You need to go here in iTunes, copy your ACID. If it shows the serial number, you need to click a couple of times and copy the ACID. This is a test device, so I have no concern about the ACID being public. Now, you need to go ahead in here, select the uh, device itself, of course, and if you do have a collision on your device, for example, if you check your device and it does generate collisions, you're going to manually um, check this one and add the collision in here. But I would recommend you to save another one after that without this checked, just to be on the safe side. Then you're going to select your another robot, in order to confirm this, and click Submit. And as you can see, it works properly now. It was uh, saved successfully. And if I go ahead in here, in this folder, I have the blobs in here. The reason I have the blobs for iOS 10.2, 10.2.1, and 10.3 is because I saved them in the past. And the uh, the advantages on the TSS saver created by one Canon is that the uh, TSS saver actually saves your blobs for literally forever um, if the website remains up. So you're going to be able to find the blobs you've saved months ago. For example, the blobs that I have saved in January for the same device running 10.2. Anyways, you can go ahead in here and download the blob just for whatever you want. And another thing that I like about this tool is that it, it doesn't only save one blob, it saves a couple of them with different app nonces, just to actually give you some spares in case you don't find a match, which is okay. If you want to check one of the blobs, you can actually do that in here. They also have a blob checker that we're going to use in a couple of seconds, but I'm going to show you what to do if you have an iPhone uh, 6s, an iPhone 6s Plus, or an iPhone SE, because the procedure is a little bit different. And let me show you why. If you go ahead in here on the iPhone wiki, you can see that on the CPUs or the processors, you have either Samsung or TSMC when it comes to the iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE. And uh, also you have the iPad in here, but in, in the iPad's uh, fifth generation case, you do not have a TSMC alternative. So it will only have one specific board configuration. What is the difference between TSMC and Samsung? Literally nothing, the device will work the same, but it will have a different board configuration. Let me show you what the board configuration is, because a lot of people have uh, doomed their blobs because they saved it with the wrong board configuration. You can see that, for example, the iPhone 5 has two different board configurations, but that's because it means there are two different devices in here, the GSM one and the CDMI one. Same thing for the iPhone uh, 5C and 5S. When we're talking about the iPhone 6, it's only one type of device, so you cannot actually do it wrong. But if you're talking about the iPhone uh, 6S or the iPhone SE or 6S Plus, you have N71AP and N71MAP. 
Well, what's the problem? The problem is that the devices are literally the same. They, they're not separated like the iPhone 5 in a CDMI or GSM or different global models and so on. They're literally the same device, but it simply has a different um, chip inside. And if you, if you say, for example, for N71 AP, but your device is N71 MAP, your blob is going to be doomed and you're not going to be able to use that and you're not going to be able to change the um, board configuration, this number in here, after that inside the blob. So make sure you're checking the um, the board configuration using the application that I'm actually going to link in the description. You just need to install that and when you open it, it's going to give you the, um, the actual number and you can check that. So let me show you how you save them again using the TSS checker. I have already demoed this application in the past, but I'm going to show you that again just in case you missed that videos or just in case you want to learn more about it. So I'm going to make this uh, terminal thing a little bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. The uh, TSS checker package, when you uh, install it, sorry, when you download it, is going to show you the macOS binary, the same as the Linux one and the Windows one, with a white paper. You cannot open that, so in order to fix that, you're going to write chmode 775, and you're going to drag the, uh, the macOS binary and do this, but I have already done that, sorry, you need to leave a space between the... Um, between the CH mode 775 and the actual path. So this is my mistake in here. You're going to do that and it's not going to output anything. It's going to make uh, the uh, binary from a white page into this icon in here. You need to do that in order to, to be on the safe side. And um, I'm going to open another uh, window. I could have cleaned the uh, terminal, but I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, I'm going to call the application again and show you how to save your blobs. Now, if you actually call it without parameters, it's going to output the way you can use it, which is pretty much very useful. So, I'm going to call it again and write D for device, and the device model can be something like this. So we're going to be able to find that in iTunes. If you click here on ACID or Serial, it's going to show you model identifier. iPod 7.1 is the uh, this device, so iPod 7, uh, comma, 1. And uh, I'm going to write the L parameter for the latest version of iOS. But if you're running on, the, on one of the controversial devices, like the iPhone um, 6S or the iPhone SE, you're going to write I in here for iOS version, 10.3.1. And then you're going to need to specify dub, double dash board config and your board configuration. For example, N41AP or whatever, N41 MAP, and so on, N66 MAP, so on. You need to specify that, and the rest of the parameters are going to be identical with the uh, the ones for the normal devices. I do not own a device that has a TSMC chip or a different chip, so I'm going to write L, in my case, for this device, and um, then we, we need to specify, of course, the ACID. So to do that, we're going to write E, and take the ACID from iTunes copy it and of course save it in here, paste it in here. Then you're going to write S for the save path and, um, sorry, for the saving and double dash save path, sorry. Okay. So it's going to be save dash path and of course you need to create a new folder on your desktop in order to keep everything uh, clean, iOS 10.3.1. I'm going to drag it in here and it's going to start requesting the um, the blobs. And as you can see, it did it already and it says error in here, unable to add mg4 tags to TSS request. Let's just hope it's not going to do my blob and it says that saved SHSH blobs and iOS 10.3.1 is uh, signed. So let's go ahead and check the blobs. I'm going to go in here. You can see it saved the uh, the blob in here. And you can actually check them using the uh, TSS uh, saver by one conon and going to tssaver.onecanon.com slash check. And to do that, you can also, of course, check it with TSS checker, but I'm going to use this one because it's easier. And I'm going to go into the iOS in here, take this one. Okay and select the iPod in my case and of course the proper device. Confirm you're not a robot and you're going to be able to see if the blob is saved correctly. So as you can see the board configuration that you need to pay attention for, 
The restore behavior, it's erased, so it's okay, and it says that it is valid. And this is the app nodes we're going to need to be generated. And this uh, build number confirms the fact that it's indeed iOS 10.3.1. And this is how you properly save the blobs for future downgrades on iOS 10.3.1. Do not forget, Pango has demo with an iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak, and therefore it's very important to actually save your blobs. This is how you do it. I really hope I made things clear now. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.